this is Alpha, a Russian long-range navigation system on VLF, very low radio frequencies, received at my home in Macedonia, about 70 kilometers southeast from Skopje, the capital city of Macedonia. Alpha navigation system transmits 3.6 seconds repeating sequences on the different frequencies with three radio transmitters about 500 kilowatts output RF power each, located at three different locations in Russia, Krasnodar, Revda and Novosibirsk. First transmitter transmit signals on 14.881 kHz. Second transmitter transmits signals on 12.649 kHz. And third transmitter emitting signals on 11.905 kHz. Receiver here is RTL SDR, software defined radio, with SDR sharp free software. There is also up converter so I can receive all radio spectrum from practically DC up to 2 GHz. Antenna is homemade mini whip active antenna. It is only 10 cm long and 3 cm wide. I put it on the roof of my house and well grounded. I tried many different antennas, from delta loops, long wires, dipoles, but Winnie Whip active antenna is the best so far. I will set the bandwidth of the receiver to 4 kHz wide. In that way I can receive all three frequencies of the Alpha navigation system at the same time. You can see here the signal from transmitter in 14.881 kilohertz. Here is the transmitter on 12.649 kilohertz and here is third transmitter transmit on 11.905 kilohertz here is waterfall how it's look like You can see here first transmitter, here is second transmitter, and here is third transmitter. The receiver is based on very simple and cheap RTL dongle. I buy it from eBay for only $10. It is made for DVB-T receiving but with good free software which you can download from internet you will get fantastic SDR radio which is far better than many special receivers on the market. It is far better from this for example. This is SDR dongle. SDR dongle is connected to the computer with USB cable. You must put the several ferret toroids on the cable in order to minimize the RF noise coming from computer through USB cable.
there is also up converter connected to RTL dongle in order to receive the frequencies down to DC practically you can receive all the frequencies from 1 kilohertz up to 2 gigahertz in order to improve the dynamic range of the receiver you can put the band filters and notch filters also here is power supply for my mini whip antenna there is also ferry toroids on the cable you can see it in order to check the difference between the mini whip active antenna and delta loop antenna 33 meters long and I make this switch so you can see the difference now the alpha navigation system is received by mini whip active antenna now I will switch to delta loop this is delta loop unbelievable there is no signal at all this is mini whip active antenna